Someone's asked, you have said that this work is for those who want more than what life gives them, who don't find satisfaction in life. Can one be very satisfied with this life and all it offers and still do this work? Yes, absolutely. When I say do the work, I don't mean do the work, because we all know that if people who are actually doing the work, who are actually into the work because they need a way out, because they've found that life doesn't give them what they want, that they still have a hollow spot inside, that is still, no matter what they get, it still does not fulfill the need. It does not quench the thirst. It does not end the hunger. Those people know, well, you can't do. That's why we're in this work, because we have realized that we can't do, because in life we can't do. It looks like we can do. We want to believe that we can do. We try to do. We work hard to do. We make all kinds of plans so that we can do. The problem is, is that if something in life comes up, we don't do. What does that mean if something in life comes up? Well, it means if I'm going from, I'm going to this appointment and I have to be there at this certain time. Why is it, why is it people are late? Well, people are late because things happen. Because life just doesn't, isn't, isn't just this smooth piece of glass and you just get on it and slide to wherever you're going. You know, you just think, oh, I want to be there and, and beam me up, Scotty, and you're there. It's not like that at all. The way life works is things come up, things happen, and we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen with the economy? Well, if we knew that, we'd all be billionaires because we'd all know exactly what to do with the stock market. But we don't know. So life is really accidental. It's out of our control. And when you realize that, if you can find satisfaction in that, it's because you know something other than just life. It's because you have already found something other than just life. You have found some meaning to life other than the insanity of it all, the happenstance of it all. And I don't mean serendipity. I don't mean you've taken the happenstance and said, oh, it's all good, it's all good. No, I don't mean a Pollyanna attitude because... Most Pollyanna people I've ever met, it's just a very thin veneer. And underneath that is something that's not what the veneer appears to be. In other words, it's a mask. So can one be very satisfied with this life, all it offers, and still do this work? Yes, but you won't do the work. If you're satisfied with life, why would you want to do the work? If you're satisfied with everything that life offers, why would you want to do the work? Now, on the other hand, if you are really doing the work, can you be satisfied with life? Well, yes. But see, that's turned around entirely. It comes from the inside. Your satisfaction comes from within you. It doesn't come from the things out there. So it's like, oh, I get this new car and now I'm really satisfied. Well, what happens when somebody lets their shopping cart go and it goes rolling down and smacks your new car and there's nothing you can do about it. It puts a big dent in it or puts a scratch in it. It's like, then you're not happy anymore. Then you're not satisfied anymore. So in, in a sense, no, you can't really be, be in life and attached to all the things in life and still be satisfied. If you're attached to the things in life, you're going to suffer. If suffering is what you're after, then you're going to be satisfied. And that's really the point, isn't it? If, if what you want is suffering, then you can be absolutely, completely satisfied with this life and all that it offers. And you don't ever really have to do it. If you're satisfied, why do any work? There can be an inner satisfaction. And, I, and I, I perceive that the real question here is, is if I do this work, can I be satisfied with life? Well, yes, you can. But you'll never be completely satisfied with life because it's not life that you want. It's not what's in the world that you want. It's something else. And that something else is beyond life. 